Hey guys, what's going on? This is Shrapnel Mayhem. I'm making my very first vlog ever and I'm super excited to talk about my uh, streaming setup that I have here for you guys. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. First thing we'll talk about are my monitors. As you can tell, I have three monitors set up and I have space for a fourth. I'm not quite sure if I want to do a fourth monitor or maybe put a television up there so that way I can watch TV while I'm working on stuff on my computer. Tell me what you guys think. Put a comment down below. Make a suggestion, I'm always open to those. All right, so talking about the monitors here, as you can tell, I have three monitors set up. And with that, the left and the right monitors are both actually just IPS boards. Um, I got them from Micro Center for about $100 each. They're 24 inch monitors and they're made by AOC. I don't know if you can see that. And in the center, I have my Asus 24 inch gaming monitor for my PS4. It has a 0 0.5 millisecond reaction time and it can refresh up to 165 Hertz, which is amazing for a gaming monitor. Um, it's actually made for more PC players, but I have this monitor in particular. So if ever down the road, I decide to start PC gaming, I can do that. I got the gaming monitor for about $200. You might be able to find it uh, somewhere else online for a little bit of a better price. And I can put the exact model in the description or in the comment down below if you have questions about this particular monitor. The stand that I have all three of these monitors on, I actually bought from a private seller on Facebook Marketplace for about 50 bucks. So I love it. It's a Vivo brand. Um, you can get these on Amazon anywhere between 60 to $500, depending on the model and structure and things like that. All that you know, sense uh the sound bar that i use behind the stand is a tcl bar that i bought from walmart for 80 dollars it connects directly to my pc so for now i can hear my alerts for my stream and that leads into our next topic this is the uh, newest most advanced piece of equipment that i have outside of my pc and i bought this microphone about three days ago and it just came out about three months ago this is the sure mv7 uh which is an amazing microphone Having gone from something like a Blue Yeti to this is day and night. Um, what makes this microphone unique is that it's both XLR and USB compatible. That's right. I can Right now I'm running my USB cable, but if down the road I wanted to go ahead and plug this up to an XLR mixer, which I do plan to do soon, then I already have that ready to go instead of having to sell this privately or flip it and then try and, you know, try and break even if I can by getting a uh, XLR mic. So this is something I highly recommend if you're looking into streaming. It's about $250. It is very pricey for a microphone, but trust me, it is worth every single penny. So the next thing we'll talk about is my Astro C40 controller, which I actually just picked up today. Um, again, I bought this off a private seller. And if you ever buy something like this off a private seller, make sure you know your stuff because you have to know what to look for with things like an Astro controller because they have their fair share of problems. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what it does and doesn't do and what makes it so unique because there are plenty of videos out there on the Astro C40 controller. It is approved by Sony and no, it cannot be modified. So a lot of people do accuse me of using um, a, a strike pack and other modifications to my controller. You can't modify it. It doesn't matter. You can't do it. So anyway, the Astro C40 controller is well worth it. It retails anywhere between $200 all the way up to $358 because of price bloating. Um, everyone wants one of these now because they are becoming compatible with more PCs. And they did do a firmware update where it, it is compatible with PS4 games on PS5. So they just keep that in mind that if you're, still, if you're running a PS5 and you want to get this controller, you can only run PS4 games on it for now. They may change that down the road. I'm not quite sure. But what I love about this the most is the build quality as well as the paddles on the back. And I have trigger stops there that I can raise or lower to uh, shorten on FPS games, shorten the reaction time, which is milliseconds. But as you may know, milliseconds count for every millisecond in FPS games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, things like that. Next thing we'll talk about will be my PC. I bought this privately for about $600 from a private builder. And uh, he was looking to just kind of open up more space because he already had a lot of PCs as it was. So I got this for a really good deal. I'm running the AMD Ryzen. 7 1800 x 8 core 8 16 thread processor with an msi rx 580 armor mk2 8 gigabyte overclocked graphics card it is wonderful once you get to understand how these things work i'm brand new to gaming and streaming i've only been streaming for about four months it took me a lot of time to kind of do my research and go into everything and understand what does what and what it means but something like that for 600 dollars is amazing i can stream at 1080p 60 frames per second my elgato capture card i have an hd60 connects directly here to the pc and my chat link cable 
cable for my controller goes straight into the Elgato for the audio right now. But again, I do plan to upgrade into a mixer. Um, those are like this PC, I, I can't tell you for $600 is a freaking steal. So if you can find something like that privately where you can get an eight core to 12 core processor for under a thousand dollars, um, buy AMD, which is what I recommend for streaming, then go for it. And the only reason why I recommend the AMD Ryzen 7 um, or an 8 core or higher for streaming because it's going to need a lot of power. The rendering and encoding required for streaming is atrocious. So look for something that's powerful. I'm not familiar with Intel. A lot of my friends have Intel, so I can try and get more details on that for you, but I won't have all the answers because I'm not a hardware guy, but that's what I'm running for my PC. So my Elgato is actually underneath my desk and I don't want to show you guys the uh, organized chaos of cable management that I have down there. So I'll just show you the box real quick. I have the Elgato HD 60. There are newer models and additions out there available, but I got this for a private sale for $120. I highly recommend Elgato um, just for the fact that it's very simple to use and understand once you do your research on it. And I have friends who have tried the Abermedia capture card and some other ones and just have had no luck with it, especially for console streamers. So Elgato HD 60, 60S or 60S Plus are the capture cards that I recommend. Again, I bought mine privately for $120. Again, do your research and know what to look for when it comes to hardware to make sure it's not damaged or anything like that. I think I have gotten lucky so far with every private purchase I've made. So just take your time and do your research on things that you're looking for to get your stream together. Next, we'll talk about my headset. I use Arctic uh, SteelSeries 3s for the console edition. These are wonderful headphones, um, especially since I use the analog 3.5 millimeter jack uh, with no equalizer. You, playing Call of Duty, I can hear everything with these headphones. They're amazing, they're worth it. I think they go anywhere between 70 to $110. Um, you can check them out on Micro Center or Amazon. Again, these are the Arctic SteelSeries 3 Pros. Excuse me, not the Pro, but the 3s for the console. Uh, I do wanna get the Pros, but again, that'll come with the audio upgrade down the road. And the last thing I'll talk about is my webcam. It's a Logitech C9200. It's nothing to really brag about or take home to mother, uh, but it is something I do plan to upgrade as well. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my tour of my streaming setup. And as time goes on, I'll be adding more things, probably taking things away as we go on and keep growing. Um, for a lot of you who may not know, um, I do run my own businesses as a full-time job, which is how I'm able to afford some of this more expensive stuff. And a lot of the donations that come through from my viewers and my supporters, all that money is reinvested back into the stream, which is something I highly recommend you do when you do start streaming. I stream on Facebook almost every day, starting around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put a link down below to my page. If you guys wanna tune in, hit that follow button, hit that like button here for this channel as well, and be sure to subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more motivated I am to keep producing quality content on a real level with no sponsorships or anything like that. Everything that you see here was paid for out of pocket. Nobody here, no, no company gave me anything here and I intend to keep it that way as well. So if you have any questions about anything, comment down below and I look forward to seeing you guys in future vlogs.